but look at the front. Oh, this is fun. Oh my gosh. The luck of the day. That's right. How big that thing is. Up in. <laughs> the loser. Okay, so I've been driving around for, well, we drove around all day yesterday and drove around all day today, trying to find a good permission. That's the hardest part about this hobby is that if you're new to an area like I am and you don't know a lot of people, it's hard to find permissions. So um, I'm out here, I've actually found a pretty good park. So I'm gonna try it out, uh, but I gotta switch up coils if you look. I just got done hunting the uh, 1700s permission. I have the six inch coil for the Equinox 600, but uh, I gotta switch it over to the 11 inch because it's a big, it's a uh, big field. So I'm gonna try it out and see what happens. Got the 11 inch here in my bag, so let's try it out and see what happens, huh? Uh, an absolute struggle oh my I don't know if you noticed but I put it on backwards too so that was great uh, I haven't switched it off that's the second time I've switched it so don't judge me too hard all right so I got the uh, 11 inch coil on the Equinox 600 got my new lash oh it helps out so much I kind of wish I had the bigger shovel for this big field but got my new lash and it's great um, and one thing I use at the house site are these wireless Beats headphones because the uh, Equinox 600 has the wireless capabilities, which is nice. Uh, so we're going to keep going with that because I liked it. All right, let's get out there. So I think persistence pays off. I've been digging trash, trash, trash. Uh, clad quarter, clad penny, dime. I got a little bit of a different signal. I was actually headed back to my car and check it out. It's copper. Look how thin it is. I wonder, I, it's gonna be probably smooth as Brad's butt, is what they say on the Hoover Boys. But it's definitely copper. Very thin, hopefully old. Everything was popping up. I was getting so many trash signals, trash signal, trash signal. But then this one popped up on the the 600 is 1920, pretty strong. So I felt like it was going to be different. So there we go. The park did pay off. You got me one copper. I love it. All right, hopefully we find some more. All right, catch you on the next one. So it turns out the copper that I found if you can barely see, it's pretty beat up, is a New Jersey State Copper. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks like it might be from 1786. They were minted from 1786, and I think all the way up until 1790, and then kind of fizzled out once the, uh, the U.S. Mint started taking over and making large sense. Um, but look at that. And if you see popping up, it's got a beautiful design. Um, it's got the shield on the back, which is the part you can see on my coin. But then if you look at the front, it's got the horse above a plow. It's really unique and really cool state copper to find. I've been looking for one. It's one of my bucket list items. It's the first one. And luckily it's in the state that I metal detect in. So that's cool. Now I'm going to take you over to the uh, old 1700s house site uh, and finish up that hunt there. 
So the next uh, hole that I dig, I've been wanting to find a hole one of these for a while, but a piece of one's better than nothing. Look at that. It's a broken crotal bell. I've been searching this backyard for a little while and haven't found much other than modern clad, but there we go. Nice. On to the next. Next find, always fun to find, is a harmonica reed. I found both pieces. So, cool. Let's go find something else. So persistence pays off. I've been trying to get used to, uh, I got the six inch coil and I've been finding a lot of stuff. So just normal clad, a lot of junk I've been digging up, but uh, it's been doing well. But finally, uh, Look at it. Check it out. It can be an episode. Got a copper. Look how good the back side looks. Front side I gotta do a little brushing off to see if I can figure out, but it's thick. It's very thick, heavy. Look at that. I'll clean it off and then I'll do a little screen over you know right now but I can't tell what year or anything hopefully I can get a year off of it and at least a type all right cool let's go find something else target and I'm trying to stick with the small stuff but check it out it's fine I popped it up in my shovel <clears throat> looks like a bed post the end of a bed or something like that like the rod goes through here I think this is wood Huh. Backyard is definitely where they threw all their trash. But check it out. That's cool. On to the next one. So digging this hole had two goodies for me. Uh, one, this little uh, charm for a necklace. It's not silver. It looks silver. For a little, uh, turtle with a happy face. <laughs> Oops, no markings on the back. And then this would have been cool to find hole, but I never found a quarter belt or a bell, but look at that. I thought I might have been the one who broke it, which is that would have sucked, but I don't think so. I found just a couple pieces, the rest is nowhere to be found. Very cool. All right, let's keep going. So with the Knox 600, the six inch coil, I'm doing, doing pretty well. I gotta get used to the, the uh, sounds and the VDI numbers and everything coming off. And got a new shovel as well, a new rush. It's been working out a lot better than my hand shovel, but check this out. Next find. It's another thimble. How cool is that? I found one last time that I was out here, a hole like this too. This one's a little bipped up, but still pretty cool. Gotta get her cleaned off. Where's the silver one? Oh, I got a little bit of a hair in there. Too. Where's the silver thimble? Get a little fancy on me, you know? Cool. Can't be bad about that. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, so far, but I did find a copper. I did find the thimble, and then I moved spots. I found another napkin ring. Same design as the last one I found. I'm at the same house. Makes sense. Check it out. This one's in a little bit better shape. It's got a good design on the front. Rings all the way around. Oh, the mosquitoes are eating me up. That's pretty cool. Right, let's go find something else. The side of the house, it produces. I did the backyard, then I found that one copper, which is awesome. So look at Indian. Let's see if I can get a year off of it. So we got $18.99. That's awesome. It's in good shape too. To clean off the back a little. There we go. Awesome. 
All right, catch you on the next. Over by the sidewalk. I was thinking about giving up soon. I'm tired and we need lunch, but look what I just popped. And look how good of a shape that is in. 1816. <laughs> oh, the back needs some cleaning, but look at the front. Oh, this is fun. Oh my gosh. That is in perfect shape. Oh. I'm getting scared. I didn't know if I was going to find any more coppers out here. I just got to clean that up and brush the back. But look at the front. Sorry about the road noise again. Kind of over here by the road. <sighs> the six inch coil. I'm starting to get used to the sound, so starting to dig the good targets. Look at that. Copper number two for the day. All right, nice. Let's go find some more. So I'm going to do the uh, recap with my girl Izzy and my boy Beasley. Hey, hi, Bees. They're gonna be hanging out with me. But uh, as you can see from the two hunts, top left is the clad, all the pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters. These are my three uh, wheat cents, which are pretty cool. All my relics, uh, this one weird charm, a couple bells, the thimble, button, I don't know what that is, it's kind of weird. Um, napkin ring holder, the uh, a harmonica reed, and then my copper coins. <sighs> Got the 1899 uh, Indian head, 1816 um, matron, I believe is what they're called. Uh, I can't remember what year this is. Let me look here. 1830 something, I believe, but awesome shape. 1838, I think is what it is. Awesome shape, the front looks great, the back looks great. And then my New Jersey State Copper. Very cool. And not impressed whatsoever.